Jacob. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. This is a case that is why the police trying to recover after having the worst beating they've ever had in living memory. Yeah. This is a case of the police wanting to put to bed, wanting to put to rest one of the worst episodes in the history of yes. metropolitan policing history. Yeah. This is the Metropolitan Police Service wanting people to forget that 30 years ago, after shooting a black woman yes, exactly. who was dressed in a nighty, That's right. who was running away, running upstairs, dressed in a nighty, they shot her in her back yeah. and they crippled her. Yeah. Yeah. A police officer named Inspector Lovelock thought that he could go to Brixton looking for a black male and shoot and cripple a black mother. Yeah. One week later, they thought that they could come to Tottenham, they could arrest the black youth because he was driving a BMW. Yeah. 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 They hard. didn't believe that black That's youth hard. should be able to afford maintain or run a BMW. Yeah. So they stopped him and said his tax disc was out of date. Mm -hmm. When they saw the date, they said, okay, the tax disc does not check out with the VIN number, the vehicle identification number. So they arrested him for stealing his own vehicle. Come on. And just to make it good, they charged him with assault on two coppers. They took him to Tottenham Police Station and whilst he was held there, they took his keys from his personal belongings without his permission, without the permission of a magistrate and without a warrant and they went to his parents' home where he didn't even live. They went to his parents' home and without knocking, they used the key to enter into his mum's home. His mum Got up. His mum was in the house with his sister and one grandchild. When she heard the noise, she got up and she saw four white men in her living room. She was shocked and scared. One of the officers, DC Mike Randall, who was off duty at that time, so he had no legal or lawful reason to be there, then pushed her over and continued his search. He stepped over her while she lay on the ground gasping for air. He stepped over and he continued his search and he left having found nothing. nothing. When he left the radio Tottenham police station and he told them that the search had gone off without incident. All the time since